डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी ई लर्निंग हेलो आई एम नवदीप वर्किंग एज पी जी टी आई पी इन कैम्ब्रिज इंटरनेशनल स्कूल दसुआ स्टूडेंट्स इन दी सीरीज ऑफ ई लर्निंग टूडे विल रिवाइज वन मोर टॉपिक इन डाटा फ्रेम ओनली दैट इज इट्रेशन so moving to the topic we have already covered in the last lecture in data frames how to create a data frame different methods of creating the data frame students today we will learn uh, iteration in data frames so what do you mean by the term iteration iteration is the process of repeating something again and again so this is also called looping a process where we need to repeat something again and again that process we keep in a loop very important part of uh, pandas so in data frame we need to uh, display the different rows using the process of iteration now students uh, we have already covered that uh, data structures are of two types in pandas one is data frames and second is series series is one dimensional and data frame is a two dimensional data structure in pandas we covered what is pandas that is this is an open source package of python and this panda is basically used in a data analysis for data analysis in a big way. so this is a very very important package of python series we already covered what is a series this is a one dimensional label array capable of storing a data of different types like integers strings floating point and different python objects the in this example you can see that the different columns are depicting the uh, different series and if they are combined together we can formulate a frame also from the series and the left hand side it depicts the index so this is here we took the example of a and b a file where uh, the three columns like name team and number are represented by the different series then students we covered indexing and selecting so this is how we can select a particular element or we can select whole of the data frame or we can slice a data frame so this is everything this is done by a indexing and selecting so covered thoroughly what is a data frame is a two dimensional object like a spreadsheet or a sql table so these are the different methods of uh, creating a data frame so from these uh, multiple sources we can create a data frame so students coming to our today's topic that is iteration so iteration in data frame so in pandas data frame we can iterate an element in two ways the first way is, is iterating over rows and second method is called iterating over columns so first we will focus on the first method that is iterating over rows so under iterating over rows we have basically three uh, three methods first method is uh, iterate items second is iterate rows and third is iterate tuples so these uh, how these methods are uh, different what is the difference between these three methods we will uh, do practically so first we take the example of a data frame so students we have created a dictionary of list uh, where we are having uh, uh, basically three attributes name of the students then their corresponding degrees and what is their score is so based on that we have a dictionary then we converted that dictionary to a data frame and on the right hand side you can uh, see the contents of the data frame then moving forward uh, then uh, the the 
here we have basically applied the iterating over rows method so students uh, you see here we are taking the same uh, first we have created a data frame and then iterating over rows using iterate rows function is that uh, here we have taken uh, i and j variables so this i and j variables are basically depicting the rows and columns clear so this is uh, we have here used the iterate rows method here first we have zero row and its different columns then we have second row and then its different columns then is the third row and its different columns so like this we are finding the output here then students uh, we have another method that is iterating items so here uh, iterating items basically that also used to retrieve the rows but that is in a different way keys and values so first it will display the key and then its different values then the second key degree and then its value and then the third key and its different value so this displays the result item wise because what happens in a dictionary we have basically this combined together key and value to combine together that is called a item so here we display the result item wise clear and uh, finally we have the third method so the third method is basically this displays the tuple clear so this is called why this method is called iterate tuples so you can see this also depicts uh, and displays the index value side by side like we have this the same way the result is here with the corresponding index value so all these three method that we will revise uh, now on a jupyter notebook so moving to the jupyter notebook so students coming to the jupyter notebook our first step is import pandas as d then we are going to create the data frame so first we'll create a dictionary so this dictionary contains basically three attributes my first attribute is name then its corresponding values so that is using a list so my first value is aparna second value is pankaj third value let us say harpreet take any values and let's say the fourth value is sudhir so these are the name attributes i have the second first we have the second key value is degree the degree they are pursuing then their corresponding values in a list so first student is doing mba let us say the second student is doing bca the next student is doing btech to chair full stop and the fourth student let's assume is pursuing mc so this is my second key and its corresponding value combined together this is called a item now the third is their attribute is their score so score again in a list so 90 40 40 then 80 and let's then 91 so students the numeric value need not be put in a quotes so this is uh, we have created the dictionary now converting this dictionary to a data frame so let's say df is equal to we will have to use pandas data frame method 
and convert this dictionary to data frame and then finally display the contents and now run this one so soon you will find the result here that star means my program is running and you will find the contents of the data frame here now so here students uh, you can see the contents of the data frame these are my three attributes name degree and score and these are their index value so this is the content that i have now my next task is now students the next task is that is iterating over rows using iterate rows method clear so this function we will use and we will see the result so for that you see here what i do here i will use a loop for i and j in my data frame dot method create rows and uh, then use here colon also the indentation will start automatically then print i and the j and then the second print for next line clear so you this i and j are basically my rows and then j represents the uh, then the first column and then second column in that very row clear. Well, you just run this one so you see here first is the row number zero and then j represents the column name and then degree then score then again the second row with the name degree score and the corresponding values of the data frame then the third row and this is third row is first represented by i and then j represents their name degree score and then again the next row so you are finding this uh, a line in between them clear that is because of this print if you remove this one so students you can see that uh, now there is no gap between the uh, first row and second row and third row and so on okay so this is what does this means so we have covered our first method that is iterating rows using the iteration rows function so now similarly we can uh, go with the second method so second method was the second method is i am just using a command that is using the iteration items method so so with this method we are going to retrieve the rows now see here students how this works so this takes a bit different parameters again start with the loop for key and value combination these are the keywords in my data frame and my method is now iterate items and simply what i do here next is use here a colon indentation starts automatically print key and then value clear so now you just run this one and you see here the results are coming in the key and value sort of a form here clear the same results we are getting here and similarly we can here use a print method to have a line after the first row is complete and the, in the second row okay. so now you can say there is a difference between lines so this is now first it is printing now the key is my first key is name and all the names then my second key is degree 
so this is early degrees and uh, third is score and all these scores so students first we need to understand how it is different iterate item is represents and display itemized result what is the item so in a dictionary the key and value combination is called a item so here items are first name and then their corresponding aparna pankaj harpreet sudhir so these are the uh, this name is a key and these are its value combined together this is called a item so here the result is like this clear so item wise result is appearing here in the first case uh, first the complete row was appearing here so you can see in the earlier method we were having a complete row name aparna then his degree mba his score 90 and then the second record then the third record but here the records are coming like first all the names clear then all the degrees then all their scores clear so here the things are appearing the item wise so item you already know what is there in a item in a dictionary it is a combination of key and value that is called a item so now students moving to our third method i just copy paste my earlier and you see my now next see the so now students using the third method so that method is create tuples method clear so what we do in this iterate tuple method this is also very simple start with the loop for i in data frame dot iterate tuples then you put the colon and then in the print just mention the i so here the i represents the complete tuple tuple means a record or a row so you just go to the run option and you see here now the result is appearing row wise so here uh, the each uh, in each uh, display we are getting a full row with its corresponding index value so this is the third method that is the iterate tuple so students you can use all these three methods clear for iterating through the rows and columns i think you have found the today's session quite fruitful this is very easy you just practice this and you will get soon very comfortable with this now coming back to the ppds so students as you are all aware that uh, the next task is our mcq so like you will find this sort of mcqs like uh, minimum number of arguments required to pass in panda series so the answer is two so two arguments are required similarly uh, we said that pandas series in pandas is uh, how many dimensional this is a one dimensional object and the data frames in a series is a two dimensional object clear so we can analyze uh, the data in pandas with which things so we can analyze data with series also as well as with the data frame also so the answer is both a and b so the answer is c part so like this sort of questions uh, you will encounter in the uh, in mcq so prepare thoroughly so the test is coming is coming is, is on the coming thursday so prepare hard for that and uh, you will find like uh, which of the following input can be accessed by data frame so all the above so we can use n dimensional array also we can use data frame also and we can use series also so uh, students uh, the today's topic you can uh, for that you can uh, refer to the resource also and you also prepare side by side from your uh, textbook also and prepare your notes also thoroughly so at the end i thank you all for attending the session thank you thank you very much